Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Let us now try to find an expression for the number of possible relations between two sets A and B. So we are now looking at the maximum number of different possible relations that we can define between two non-empty sets A and B. We will borrow a result from set theory and the result is, if a given set S has NS elements, now we know that when a set S is what we are talking about, then the number of elements of that set is denoted by N of S and that is also the cardinality of that set. So assuming the set S has NS elements, that is the number of elements in the set S is N of S, then the number of possible subsets of S is equal to 2 raised to n of S. And this is also denoted by the power set. So if we have a set S, then the power set is denoted by 2 to the power S, where S is the name of the set. And now when S has the cardinality n of S, that is the number of elements in set S is n of S, then the number of possible subsets of S is equal to 2 raised to n of S. So this is an important result that we will borrow here. And now let us see an example. We have a set A consisting of elements 1, 2 and 3 and B consisting of 4 and 5. Clearly, the cardinality of the set A cross B will now be 6. And so we will multiply all these number of elements in the first set. Here the number of elements in set A is equal to 3. And the number of elements in set B is clearly equal to 2. And so the number of elements in A cross B, that is the Cartesian product of A and B, will be Na into Nb, which in this case is 6, that is 3 into 2. So now we have a set a cross B, which has six elements in it. And now we want to find the number of possible subsets of this set. Now, if we have a set A cross B, then the possible number of cut. Now, if we have a set A cross B consisting of six elements, then the maximum possible number of subsets of that set, including the null set and the set itself, is equal to 2 raised to 6. And now I can say that if my set A cross B contains 6 elements, then the maximum number of different possible subsets that we can form is equal to 2 raised to 6. But we know that a relation is a subset of A cross B. And so we can now say that the number of possible relations is equal to the number of possible subsets that can be formed out of the Cartesian product of sets A and B. So in this case, the number of possible subsets of A cross B is equal to 2 raised to number of elements in A cross B, which in this case is equal to 2 raised to 6, which is 64. So we can now find 64 different possible subsets when we are given the sets A and B containing 3 and 2 elements respectively. And so a relation now is defined as a subset of A cross B and we know that the different possible relations will now be equal to the number of different possible subsets and in this case it is equal to 2 raised to 6. So we will have a brief recap of what we did here. Well, firstly, we enumerated two sets A and B, the set A consisting of three elements and set B consisting of two elements. Next, we said that the cardinality of set A cross B is equal to six. Now I know that if a set contains six elements, then the maximum number of possible subsets of that, ele of that set A cross B will be equal to two raised to six. So we now said that the different number of possible subsets of A cross B is equal to two raised to six. But a relation is a subset of A cross B and so the number of different relation that we can have between sets A and B is equal to 2 raised to 6. And so we've arrived at this statement where the number of possible relations between these two sets A and B in this case is equal to 2 raised to 6. Let us now see a general case. Well, we now have again a set A but this time it consists of I elements from A1 to AI and B contains J elements from B1 to BJ. And now we know that a cross B will contain I into J elements. So the number of elements in set A cross B is equal to I into J, where I is the number of elements in the first set A and J is the number of elements in the second set B. Now, we said that when a set has I into J elements, then the possible maximum possible number of subsets of that set is equal to 2 raised to I into J. So in this case, the maximum number of possible subsets of A into B, that is of this set, is equal to 2 raised to the number of elements in that set, which is I into J. And so we can further rewrite this as 2 raised to N of A plus A into B is equal to 2 raised to I into J. And this is the number of possible subsets that can be formed out of the Cartesian product of sets A and B. But we also know that the number of possible subsets is also the number of possible relations that are possible between the sets A and B. And so we can now write the number of possible relations therefore is also equal to 2 raised to N of A cross B, which is equal to 2 raised to I into J.
So the important result to remember here is whenever we have two sets A and B such that A cross B has I into J elements, then the maximum number of different possible relationships between the two sets A and B that are possible is equal to 2 raised to I into J. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.